Okay, so in number 4, we have x is equal to 2 multiplied by 4, y plus 1 raised to 3. Okay, so x is equal to 2 multiplied by 4, y, okay, plus 1 cube. Again, we will derive in the x equation with respect to y. So that is equal to dx over dy is equal to 2 multiplied by 3, okay, multiplied by 4y plus 1 raised to 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Okay, multiply by the derivative of 4y plus 1, so that is equal to 4. So the dx over dy is equal to 4 multiplied by 3, uh, is 12 multiplied by 2 is 24. 24, 4y plus 1 squared. So again, by the use of d11 or inverse function rule, we have dy over dx is equal to 1 over dx over dy. So 1 over 24 multiplied by okay, 4y plus 1 squared. So, this is the final answer. Okay, number 5, we have number 12. Okay, number 12, we have x is equal to 6 all over by 3y plus 1 squared. So, x is equal to 6 all over by 3y plus 1 squared. Okay, remember the formula, d11 is equal to dy over dx is equal to 1 all over by dx over dy. So again, we will derive in this x function as, okay, we will derive in this x function with respect to y. So that is equal to dx over dy is equal to 6 multiplied by, okay, negative 2 all over by 3y plus 1 raised to 2 plus 1 multiplied by the derivative of 3y plus 1 is equal to 3. So that is equal to 6 multiplied by negative 2 is equal to negative uh, 12 multiplied by 3. So negative 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to negative 36 all over by 3y plus 1 cube. So again, using the inverse function rule, d11, so the dy over dx is equal to 1 over dx over dy. So dx over dy is equal to negative 36 all over by 3y plus 1 cube. So it means the final answer is equal to negative okay, 3y plus 1 cube all over by 36. So this is the final answer.